come to my attention that uh, we're having quite a bit of a, a small trouble, let's say, with uh, a so-called incel. But what does incel actually mean? Well, I'll tell you that, actually. Because, f interesting enough, uh, that uh, I used to be one, but uh, used to. But the fun thing is, you know, that a lot of things have then turn out for the me to become even better or worse in some in many different ways. And yes, as well too, you might be wondering why the outfit. But don't worry, uh, I'm wearing pants, this shirt is just extremely ventilated and it's good stuff. And of course rubber gloves, this uh, these belts on my on me and also this Swiss helmet from World War II. Now before you know people saying uh, saying to me like, oh you're not this, you're not that No. It's actually no just because if you dress funny then I believe my message would definitely get across better. In a way, I don't know. But then again, this bit of a me message here kinda needs to be how should I say sent out in a much better in a much better let's say broader let's say scale. And of course, uh, if I don't dress myself in a nice inter inter interestingly manner then I don't know what to do. But yeah, of course, I mean, I just got, let's say, the, the Swiss helmet as well, too, but that's, uh, I'll talk, I'll talk about at, uh, at the point of the video. Now, to start off with the incel issue is, let's start off with the common phrase is, why women reject me, right? That's uh, a lot of what a lot of people keep telling yourself. I mean, keep telling, keep telling themselves, right? But uh, let's just say that there's actually quite a little bit more than that than just that because for one let's admit that that phrase is kind of a bit egotistical but a bit of a bit of a child you know like uh, would actually think about why the individual or the female sex would reject me right <laughs> and why you should basically focus every single bit of your life and your efforts and everything into that one one individual for starters I the question I have to say to ask is is why do you do this why do you do this to yourself actually because the funny thing is I mean sure I of course had a bit of a crush you know and other 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 people and of course I mean we all do it's part of life and as it always been and of course it as it will be through all time and whatnot but however there is you know quite a bit of a stereotype that a lot of people actually live by and uh, nowadays that stereotype has has gotten itself to be quite more dangerous and whatnot over time such as you know some youtubers that have you know been turned out into a serial killer for that let's say right i think you know a few examples of what you can think about and yes those are just like uh, People, uh, those women, they want to me like, oh, my lady, oh, and whatnot. I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty cringy. And of course, it's, uh, it's not going to end well. We, it's, should be bland obvious that it shouldn't. Now, of course, it will too, like, here, uh, you're being egotistical to yourself and rather than others. That's, I mean, the bit of a technical aspect about that. In what ways, I mean, being egotistical in a technical aspect. Well, let's put it about this way. First off, I mean, when you say that, why women reject me? There you go, there's your keyword, me. Key, but not me, myself, no, it's just on the phrase. The word me means that you're focusing the entire center of existence into yourself. Which means that everything has to go your way, otherwise it's, 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 it's bad. It's, uh, it won't work out like that way. But you also have to admit as well too that because if you have set crush, let's say, into, let's say, that one woman, then it's, uh, how can I say, it's basically, you're, you're ignoring, let's say, her needs. Because, let's suppose, like, uh, there is this one girl and the other guy, you know, keeps, you know, going on to her all the damn time. But little does he know, he's, she's already married, she's already have a job, kids and everything. So basically, life is complete, and this guy, you know, he wants her all to herself, and he would get a, you know, some if if uh, things don't happen, and things get quite aggressive from there on out, right? Now the funny thing is, well, too, like that's uh, 
that's uh, you know what usually happens that things you know have to go their way otherwise it's uh, otherwise there will be consequences but no actually uh, it doesn't really work like that way and and you know that's something that a lot of people you know they they kind of you know get you know deeply into it for quite a while and of course you know we all know that it's going to be bound to how can I say it's gonna be bound for to failure the damn time so of course you're gonna get you're gonna be bashed on repeatedly all the time as being failure and then also boom let's say a people uh, that said individual would snap and he would actually become a serial killer or whatever whatever else will happen right now of course uh, that I that I said like I was in cell it doesn't mean like I you know than myself no no I mean I didn't I didn't go that extreme but sure I've actually been into the, into the pit now you might be wondering what the pit is it's simple it's simply the point where just you're tired of, of feeling all that much you believe you're not perfect enough and then you feel the need to give up right that's where you're wrong because if you keep you know by this phrase uh, this mindset if all women is supposed to love you and no matter what, then, that's, um, you might need a bit of help, but, I mean, that's, of course, uh, one reason why I'm, why I'm actually doing this video as well, too. But, I mean, the thing is, well, too, like, sure, I mean, some people would actually go violent or not, especially the one in high school, because, of course, the, the, the teenage and the preteen phase, there's a lot of hormone activity that, you know, dictates quite a lot of behavior or not. Not really full, fully capable of, you know... Let's say thinking for themselves without under the influence of some bodily fluids, which of course they are, they are quite important. But uh, let's just say as well too, like uh, you should always keep focus on yourself. Now, I'm sure as well too, like uh, there's also the term of egotistical. That's what we said about you know being egotistical about only thinking about only thinking about for yourself and whatnot about the, the about no matter for the people, and whatnot, right? However. That is, you know, that can be actually a good thing. That is, you know, if you would take care of yourself first, which is, of course, the important part. Being that if you take care of yourself, you could actually be good enough for something, right? Rather than living a lie. Because, of course, as well, too, like, uh, I had a bit of, you know, a bit of a girlfriend, you know, that's, uh, I mean, of course, that I, that I, that I rambled for quite a while ago. Now, sure, of course, where the topic is about why the incel, right, and why the the beta male rejects and whatnot and whatnot, but no, no, no. Give me a second. I'm just getting. I'm just getting a bit of water. Now, the fun thing is, well, too, with this girl over here, I've actually, you know, managed to keep a a steady online relationship for, let's say, over about three years, I'd say. So of course you know everything you know would go as you, as you, as you plan as you would expect, right? Quite a lot of um, let's say sure there'd be uh, quite a lot of you know good stuff, kelly kelly, lovey lovey, and you know and all that stuff, right? But uh, here's a twist. It turns out it was the wrong person for me, and of course you know back at that time I was in denial about it. That yes, she was a perfect one, and it had to be her. And know what nobody else will do, right? <laughs> oh, how wrong was I, and... You know, the price I paid for it was quite, you know, something to remember. That, of course, I always, uh... Keep inside, that, uh... About the, the mistakes I did, and... Of course, it's, uh... Let's say it's something hard to forget, but... The thing is, I mean... If I was, if I chose to forget, then of course it would happen all over again, and of course I would be punished again, and be myself in the endless torment of life, right? Of course it's, of course it is, because because you see, people say about forget the past happenings, but I always keep the experience. The experience would be even better if you keep the memories along with it, both the good and the bad ones. Uh. The thing is, as well, too, like, uh, 
That was just only one happening as well too, which, you know, had myself, but of course, everybody is, is, uh, how can I say, is like a plant, I would say. Sure, they may all look look the same and everything, doesn't matter what race they are, they're, everyone's basically the same. Sure, of course, the personality, the mindset and whatnot, we all go, we all go through the same struggles and whatnot, even though in, uh, different manners, but they are still issues, nonetheless. Of course, as well too, you know, with, uh, you know, my breakup as well too, with uh, the previous girl, it left, uh, like I said as well, it left quite a bit of a stain on me, but not as much as I expected it would be, right? Of course, as well too, like, uh, the, uh, the, the bad egotistical kind of remained on to for quite a while, because, you know, after, you know, that bitch, let's say, she broke up with me, you know, quite a lot of, you know, friends, which, let's say, were... Very artists, which you know they uh, they used to draw me for free. You know they uh, they kind of end up leaving. Of course, it will too. It's something you know that uh, it's quite hard for me to talk about, but I find it to be important because it's uh, it's quite a bit of a something important that I need to need to need to give out as well too. Now, of course, it will too. Like uh, in a bit of a pain of the loss and egotism and all this denial. Of course, it's. Uh, you're gonna be, let's say, in pain for quite, for a bit, and of course, in denial makes it all the more sparkling, cl sparks the nice sparkles on top of it, which um, it's something that, of course, it uh, it's uh, I have quite a lot of bad memories about it because, of course, you wouldn't be acting for yourself, you know, in that state of mind, you would be acting for what you want rather than acting by yourself, which, of course, it's, um, it's quite a bit of a bad thing, uh, let's say, it's, uh, it's nothing too fun, of course, to, to pass by, but of course, it's all too, like, I feel, uh, again, and again, though, if I, to share the experience, to at least give you a bit of a tent, so you can snap, and realize that before this, that there is a lot of things you can do, you know, to better your life before you can actually do something you might regret and whatnot, like uh, those uh, other individuals, right? Because again, of course, uh, the, the a few of the basic human functions is like, I mean, basic human needs would be drinking, eating, sleeping, and also sex as well too, right? But the thing is as well too, like sex is like uh, one of the biggest um, drives that uh, a human being would desire the most. Of course, it's a need as much as it is a desire. And, uh, of course, it will too, if act out by, you know, desire on a lot of things, we actually do a lot of things that we would regret this day and never let go of so goddamn easily. Let's see. Because, of course, I prepared here a bit of a script, so otherwise I wouldn't babble uh, endlessly. Ah, yeah, so here, here, the fall into the furries, which at least would be my case, right? Now, when I was, you know, with this other girlfriend as well, too, uh, it was, I used to, it's, uh, I guess you can say a bit of a furry, but it was the, it was the main, so, main, mainly Sonic, but after that, I just, I just moved on directly, you know, like, turn, turning the, the page of my life into an, I mean, take the page of a book and flip it over to a, to a new, to a new page. Now, of course, as well, too, you know, since the solitude of losing, you know, someone very dear that I have, you know, for for quite a long while, actually, three years. Some people stay out together for about a month, then break up, or a week, and whatnot, and, and of course, as well, too, it's, uh, it's, uh, pretty, it's something, I guess, but of course, I mean, not to discredit some of the people, which, of course, they, uh, they've been for even more, but let's, uh, Let's not get into that. Let's focus. Let's maintain focus on the main topic right here. Sure, as well too. You know, like uh, the the, uh, the need. You know, like uh, to suppress the solitude was you know something that was quite hard. You know, to at least to to let's say was something quite hard at least for me to how can I say suppress for me. Sure, as well too. Like a. Uh, I was it was like starting again again from scratch, and that mean and that meant of course you know like uh, from 
just to say, from the tiny bit that you are to what you are right now, it's uh, it's quite a little something else too. Now, of course, you know the character I've still maintained the same for throughout all these years, and and I never will get rid of the character because, of course, a lot of uh, fail to me. But let's maintain focus. Let's maintain focus. And again, of course, uh, the funny thing is, well, too, like uh, I used to be, I used to believe, you know, like uh, I was uh, a straight furry by then. <laughs> Temptation can be something quite funny, you know. At least, you know, like uh, becoming bisexual in a way uh, was something, you know, quite interesting. I, I would have to say, because of course, you let's say. See a lot of people as well, as well too, like they uh, end up, you know, going to the same or whatnot, and and of course it's uh, that's something quite interesting, I have to say. Like I mean, e like I mean, the fact is, I mean, you're just so lonely that you you just don't care anymore. Like uh, what you do with other with your your friends, that whatever you do, and and boom, everything becomes a whole lot better, right? I mean, at least uh, depending how you do it, it can actually be pretty good, uh, as, uh, let's say. Because, of course, it will too depend on the type of people that you would find. That uh, it will be quite a bit of some some uh, some permanent people, I must I say. I mean, some permanent friends, I must I say. And of course, I mean, you kind of end up, you know, getting this this kind of relationship too. But let's be honest, it will too like. Uh, the anti-social, it means that you're definitely an introvert, and of course making friends is not all that easy, right? But not that I'm pressuring you to make friends, that is. You can actually, you know, the friends that you make is like the people which you see and you know you can relate. And you basically try to approach those guys and basically, like, like I said, you know, become friends or whatnot. But it does not have to be furry and everything, you just... Be whatever the hell you want to be, or whatever suits you the best. And that is, of course, you know, like, uh, there's like innumerable ways, innumerable ways to see about doing this. And of course, you know, like, uh, like, yeah, I mean, there's Sonic as well, too, which, uh, it's technically furry, I guess. Digimon, Pokemon, you name it. Now, a bit of a reason as well too, like why, uh, you know, directly seeking the attention of, you know, other females could be something quite bad actually. Is that, uh, let's say, it makes you quite vulnerable, you know, in a very dangerous spot as well too, because from, you know, the things that I read on the internet and whatnot, uh, especially even in movies as well too, which, you know, some people say like movies are just fictitious or whatnot, but it's the main idea what the movie is based off. Have you ever heard about the, a very nasty word known as gold diggers? Hmm? Of course you did. Of course, I mean, the most common one is well too, like that, that one woman which, you know, lives out, out with a very rich man, that she has all the, uh, she has all that she needs. Expensive cars, expensive makeup, expensive shoes, uh, you name it. Now, the thing is, well too, like, uh, she can, she might say, you know, to the guy who has all the money, he says, like, uh, she's like, oh, I love you, darling, I love you so much, I love you. You think she, re you think, uh, you, do you actually believe she really loves him? Do you? Well, guess what? She, they, she doesn't. She doesn't love the man as the individual for who he is. She loves what's in his wallet. His money. Because the thing is, well, too, you know, with this kind of individual is that... Uh, it's uh, more, most like a parasite that, uh, you know, going for, for women, you know, directly. Doesn't matter who it is. That's a very dangerous route, and uh, I mean, yeah, uh, what I recommend you to be quite a bit more aware of it, actually. Because uh, the thing is, well, too, I mean, since there's the fact that, that uh, this gold digger, she doesn't love the the man she fell in love with. Hold on a sec, let me just adjust my chair. But like I was saying, since uh, this gold digger, she doesn't love the man that, you know, she's used to, she, that she's just leeching off his bank account. That's still, you know, it's uh, quite a bit of a, 
quite a bit of a danger, I would say. Because there, there's also the fact as well, too, like, uh, well, let's say, but let's say she, ha she has another partner, let's say, on your back. You least expect it. But, you know, she's over there with, an, when, uh, with another person. And, of course, it always the other usual, like, uh, you go through her text messages and whatnot, and... And there she is, you know, sending love messages to another guy, and all her business trips and whatever, or whatever excuse, or whatever, or whatever excuse she might pull off would be actually a business trip or something, right? But no, it would actually be another person. Now the thing is, as well too, that a uh, bit of a problem, you know, that uh, she also could be doing the same thing with the other guy. Now, of course, that's illegal as well, too, which would form the the category of extortion. Is, uh, hmm, it's, uh, quite nasty, isn't it? Because not only she would actually be leeching off your money, but she would, the love that, the false love that she would give to another person only so she could actually benefit from his gains, right? That's, uh... That's quite that's quite uh, quite something, isn't it? And of course, something that uh, that at least you should definitely be aware about. But there's also another yet another thing to the gold digger. Now, this might not be as common as uh, the other female gold digger, but there's also the male gold digger as well too, because again, there's also not only women rejecting men, but also men rejecting the women as well too, right? You believe like you'd find as each other, and then I'll be all perfect, right? Wrong. Turns out that things you know are not as uh, how can I say as simple as as it is because you know the same aspect as well too. It could be able to happen as to other women as well too. Like how can I say? Mm. It's quite a, but like I said, you no, know, it's. Uh, it's it, there's more it's more of a harder thing but what could be a good example I could give you know like uh, it's gonna happen because like uh, I mean basically basically it wouldn't change much actually it wouldn't change much actually it would, it would actually be you know like uh, an individual falling in love with another individual but in the end uh, the other individuals just after their after their gains. Of course, it will too. It would still be extortion, though, both from men, both from men and women, and whatnot. That's you know quite a bit of a nasty thing as well too. You know that uh, it's uh, quite sad, but it is real. You gotta be actually pretty careful with uh, who you're actually running with because uh, you only find out who the person is when it's too late. And that's. Uh, well, it's usually been, you know, for quite a while, especially for the ones have, uh, you know, haven't, you know, got this notice and then boom, it's it happened and then it's too late and you you end up, you know, in, end up in the wrong side of the gutter or whatnot, right? Now, of course, as well too that uh, we're not forgetting about the fact that there's also the type of woman that. Uh, Let's say you have sex with her, but then again she takes you to court for a rape, huh? Ha ha ha, you thought I'd forget about that one, right? But no, I didn't. Because, again, it's quite a basically as well true. It's still a gold digger, still. But, uh, of course, as, we, as you, as you might have noticed, it's a, the more aggressive one to, let's say, to steal your money as well, too, through legal, through cheating, legal means and whatnot. Despite the fact that, well, too, like, uh, she might be, uh... With uh, that the said lawyer, or whatnot. I mean, it's uh, quite a bit of a a nasty case of adultery as well, too. Now, the thing is, as well, too, with the, the partners or whatnot, you can, of course, you know, keep seeking women or whatnot. But it's exactly what I'm talking about. You got to be careful with who you're actually dealing with, because let's say not a lot of people they have a heart, no, more or less, you know, even a soul. Uh, to actually, you know, let's say, come up with you and, like, say, say that they love you and whatnot and yada yada, right? <laughs> it 
never really that simple because the thing is well too like outside as well too it doesn't matter it doesn't matter who you are I mean there is actually no quite a lot of well uh, let's say a lot of different people or not and uh, not all of them are gold diggers I'll admit hell I mean there might be a lot of other people who are basically quite bad in their own way now now I mean of course you might be feeling quite lonely as well too right that uh, and of course paranoid like if you actually like miss that in a wrong one it would actually cost you greatly right I mean I uh, it's how I it's how I felt there you know because you know it's not actually the same it might you know be similar you know as it is you know from one person to another but it actually is pretty different because like you said everybody is like a plant they're like uh they're, they may look similar, but they're different. You don't have, you know, let's say, the same... Uh, I mean, this one tree doesn't have the same amount of leaves as the other one. No, exactly the same type of format and everything, right? And that, of course, you know, applies all to, let's say, for the person's life and the challenges that they would face and whatnot. And, uh... Yeah. Like I said about desire as well, too. There's actually quite a bit of a... Quite a bit of interesting phrase I managed to, you know, brew up. It's, it, it usually goes about that you are your own worst enemy. Remember what I said about acting out on desire and then doing some things you might regret. And you might regret and uh, let's say until never, until eternity. <laughs> of course it will too, that, uh, that if you act out on, you know, the those desires you were actually hurting yourself to let's say to put it to put it actually quite lightly and uh, and that's of course something that we we definitely don't want to we don't want to actually go there right but of course it will too that uh, if you feel at least you know like you're stuck in your room watching let's say like doing a lot of things I mean there's actually still quite a bit of a chance you know just do this and then, you know, that's, you know, you know, of course, some people say, like, say, just like a breathing, you know, like this, just to calm down and whatnot, right? But no, it means that if you're still breathing, there is still a chance for you to redeem yourself from all the bad if you've done the past as well, too. Like, I mean, I'll admit as well, too, like, even, even I myself as well, too, like, uh, I used to, I mean, I used to be a bigger piece of shit than I am now. And, uh, let's say, it's, uh, something that I, you know, like, I kind of hate, I kind of, you know, like, hate myself for the person I am, but not as much as I used to, because I did some things, you know, like you said, to redeem myself, that I would, like, that, like, I would say, like, I used to, like, just, like, 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 see, like, just, like, just depressed all the damn, all the damn time, doing nothing. And let it, and just let it all just go to waste and whatnot, and have only nothing more, nothing less, but to feel miserable for myself, right? Now, of course, I can only say yes for myself, and of course, that is, that is exactly the uh, the same case. But again, like I said, I mean, if you still if you're still breathing, it means that there is still a chance for you to redeem yourself. And I mean, that opportunity has always been in front of you all the damn time to redeem yourself, and you should take it. But how are you actually going to take it properly, right? Because, again, if you take the opportunity for redemption, but you don't know what you're doing, then it's most likely you're going to gonna screw yourself over. And that's something that you don't want, right? Now, the thing is, is exactly is, uh, you're going to have to do, let's say for one, a lot of self-reflection. What do I mean about that? Because, let's say for one, let's say like, you don't, you don't like your face, right? What can you do about that? That, uh... Let's say would be let's say too too nasty. Now, for one, is you know a lot of people you know could could say about oh you should do Botox or plastic surgeries or piercings or tattoos or, or whatever, right? But no, actually no. Let's say for one, I mean that like, uh, what no uh, reason why did I kind of you know like myself that I don't find myself as ugly as I used to be because at least I find myself to be in a more neutral you know towards my looks and what did I and what did I do <laughs> you're looking at it 
I, uh, I uh, grew some facial hair, and of course, that um, actually feel. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually. I mean, I actually feel a whole lot better as well too. But I mean, that's just one thing I've done as well too. There's even a still as well too, like the neck beard and whatnot, right? There's a, that's also still a factor as well too. Now, what you can't do actually, you know, is uh, again, I mean, you should look to yourself, you know, just in, reflect yourself in in many different ways. Like uh, you see what you're a failure about and whatnot, and uh, how can I say, just uh, see what you can fix about yourself, right? In sure as well too. I mean, since uh, you might as well just, uh, you know, end up, you know, like getting rid of uh, some person. It's exactly, you know, like one thing that I that I did. I mean, as, uh, I mean, as what I'm doing right now. I mean, the fuck was that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. What I'm actually, what I'm actually trying to say is actually like, uh, there's actually a lot of things, you know, that which, again, I mean. You can have a passion for a certain thing. I mean, it doesn't mean like you would actually, uh, I'm gonna say, get a passion for that individual and that person is your entire life and world and whatnot, and everything's gonna be okay, okay, right? I mean, I used to, I used to think like that, and <laughs> that's basically what got me, what got me all, all wrong as well too. And of course, I mean, I did screw, I did, you know, screw myself over and. Uh, yeah, to be honest, it was something I wasn't too fun, too fun about. And yeah, I mean, some a lot of persons, what, what they would, what could they do about it that uh, could happen? You know, like uh, get a passion for themselves. For one, I mean, they actually, you know, like the computer itself can offer quite a lot of opportunities as well too, rather than just browsing anime or whatever else you do that would be, you know in your own ways a waste of life right i mean a waste of time right for one i mean exactly what one thing you can do is draw it doesn't have to be furry i mean you can draw you can draw whatever the hell you want and i mean try that now sure of course well too it's not gonna be 100 a 100 percent guarantee like it that it is you know gonna be as it is sure as well too if you love uh gaming i mean See what you can do about it as well, too. I mean, there's also the Steam community as well, too, which, I mean, or mods. I mean, you can work on to whatever you can do. Hook up with some friends and, I mean, just see about what you can do. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I mean, what I'm actually trying to say is actually if you feel, I mean, if you're that shitty, there is, you know, a special word for that. It's called redemption. And you need, you know, to just look at yourself, you know what's wrong with you, you know it's okay, and again, you know, like I see what you can to redeem yourself. Now, of course, well, too, that perfection is, of course, a very, uh, a very uh, nasty, you know, a very nasty word, because it's actually a bit of an illusion. You're, you're not, of course, you know, going to be perfect. I mean, especially, you know, as one thing we, also, we often tell ourselves that when we're sad is that we're not good enough, right? I mean, we're not, we tell ourselves that we're not good enough for this, for not, I mean, we're not good enough for this, we're not good enough for that. It, it really doesn't matter, actually. Anyways, the key word is enough on not good enough <clears throat> that you don't need, to actually, again, to be perfect. You need, you know, to focus on yourself and become, you know, uh, good enough. You should actually, you know, just, uh, uh, how can I say, just uh, do some research as well, too. Like, uh, even in real life, you know, for for what you need and if it's possible as well, too. Because, let's admit, uh, not everything that we, that we look for is indeed going to be possible. And, of course, the cost of going there so far. Because a lot of the things that we can do is actually right here, right now, actually. I mean, let's see, if uh, you like, let's say, like rubber, like this here, right? You should go for it. I mean, if it makes you know, if it makes you happy, then just go for it. But of course, it will too, like, if it's, uh, it's a the healthy thing, you know? Because if uh, you go for something as well too, let's say, like a certain, let's say, certain hobby, you know, let's say, for another, for another person, and it's actually going to be quite a... Uh, Quite nasty, should I say? And with that, I know it's uh, you know you you might end up 
ruining yourself in, uh, in in many different ways, which again, it's something that we don't want. Because what you really want is to be good enough, but you need to, you know, just establish goals for once. It's actually, you know, like, uh, how can I say, yeah, I mean, like I said, it will establish goals and everything. Now, of course, as well, too, that, uh, again, research and everything and all that other good stuff. I mean, uh, I'm getting lost, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Like I was saying as well, too, like, if, if, if you're breathing, there's still a chance. But, as well, too, like, uh, that if you don't act out and if uh, just, uh, I mean, keep on going with the way you're going, I mean, sure. It's, uh, because, like, uh, the thing is, as well, too, like, if you're going to go, let's say, uh, get, for, let's say for this one particular individual downtime, Thing is, well, too, that life, you know, can be quite a bit of a pain, and of course, I have a few tricks up, up. I mean, up this. I mean, up the sleeve and whatnot. And that's one thing you know too. You should be actually work. Should be. How can I say? You sh you need to be aware of it actually, because of course, if let's say you don't you don't redeem yourself the proper way, that I mean, I mean the only the only person who who knows you're going to properly know how to redeem themselves. Is you. You're gonna the, the only like I said again, the only way to redeem yourself is by your own means and uh and yeah. Cause of course sure you're gonna have a lot of anger, a lot of sadness inside, but uh boy oh boy, do are you missing out on something? Because if you're acting out that's uh, quite a bit of a waste because all that anger, all that sadness, all that hatred as well too, you name it. It's actually quite a quite a lot of good energy as well too, and you know it should provide the right energy and the right need, the right you know let's say motivation for your for your redemption. Because of course you're gonna be all sad, and I'll just I'll, I'll just I'll just uh, this sloppy right, and and of course I mean that's uh, something that we we don't want to be in, and of course in that case what what you would be able to do. Is you know just just get all this anger you know onto your hands, right? That you that you feel like you just just get it out of yourself, you know. Just hold it into your hand, and you'll just uh, just drink it in. Of course, uh, it might have, uh, of course, you know, it'd just be equivalent of drinking molten lava, <laughs> and uh, of course, in a in a, in a bit of a. A spiritually you no know, manner of saying that uh, because of course you know all this all that anger is of course gonna gonna burn you up inside but if you do it the right way then of course you would see how much that is gonna help you but again of course forget about perfection that that's uh that's actually something pretty nasty and you should actually avoid all costs because perfection is just failure in disguise <laughs> But again, I mean, it doesn't mean that all failure is bad, right? Because if, let's say, if we want to succeed, we would have to fail first in many attempts. And from that, and, and from that, I mean, there is no greater teacher than failure this entire time. And of course, that of course is, you know, the equivalent, the, uh, the usual learning the hard way. I mean, the, yeah, the, yeah, that's a phrase I mean, the, to learn the hard way. And, um, I mean, it's not really, I mean, all that uh, beneficial, you know, in an emotional way or, you know, even sanity, but at least uh, in, a, in some time forward when uh, you learn many things the hard way, you look back at those moments where you failed, and, I mean, you could actually say just thank you, you know, for, for being like a... A failure back then, so I, so at least I know the way to become a better person in the future. Because again, as well too, like uh, the, this, the everyone is like just mess, just uh, just screwing up. Now, of course, as well too, like uh, that's a bit of the evolutionary trait of humans is uh, we uh, if we evolve through mistakes. Now that uh, we do mistakes, sure. I mean, not always they, they go as planned, but again. But from that, we actually learn as well too to 
to make a better way to success, being that goal as well too, to become a better person, and with that, you would actually, boom, you wanna, it's, you're, become, you're a better person when you least expect it. Now, as well too, I mean, like, you probably can tell as well too, it's, it's a bit painful, even, I mean, even, even for me as well too, I mean, even for me as well too, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, it really is quite painful as well too, in that, uh, that, uh, hmm, how can I say? I mean, not only, not only do you have to, have to deal with the, the, the pain, of course, of just the, the, the painful memory of those moments, but also to look at the, the reward for it, because it's something like, uh, like a bittersweet moment, I would say. A bittersweet, because... You know, you did many things bad back then, but of course, I mean, you look back at the time. Of course, you would you would regret it to some extent, but then again, you shouldn't because it's like because failure sometimes how can I say it's like a brick. You know, when you do a lot of failures in life, you at least uh, and and you manage to learn something from it. Hey, I mean, you might as well just. Uh, Build up whatever you want, let's say a bridge to your dreams or whatever else you want. Spe uh, spiritually talking, that is, and of course, theoretically talking as well, too. But of course, it will too that life is indeed pain, as of course, I, w I could actually show you about it. It never, you know, it never really was, you know, fun, of course, to experience pain, but. There's actually a good thing about pain, you know, this this pain of life, is that... Sure, I mean, that life is pain, but... If... There just... There was no kind... There's there just, just no, no pain whatsoever, you know, of life... Then just... Life would just be meaningless, because... As much as I don't, I don't want to sound like a masochist, but... Uh, it actually is true... It actually is true, I mean, that, uh, that there is, you know, like, a. it's like, how can I say it? You know, you know the yin-yang, right? It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's actually something quite interesting I have to say, that, that there is, you know, something, like, extremely interesting about that one, that there can be no good without no evil. Let me say that again. There can be no good without no evil. So, you both need the good and the bad to balance each other out. Because if one doesn't exist, so does the other that doesn't exist. So, but then again, it's basically, you know, like some people say like, Oh, if I get rid of the good stuff, then the bad things just go away, right? Wrong. It's, uh... It's quite impossible, you know, to, to think about it, because, of course, like, some people that could actually think about that way, to be honest, right? But, but again, I mean, it's, it would be, if, but again, if, if only if it was that simple, right? But no, but no, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't really mean it that way, because, of course, I mean, the good of life, like I was saying, like, the good of life, there is always going to be something, though, that, that, you want to it, you know? Like, uh, what would it be? Let's say, like, uh, this little, this little vape cigarette, you know? Let's suppose that, uh, you really, really like, uh, let's say, beautiful vaping, whatnot, or if, like, vape and whatnot. Now, and you would really, you know, want something this beautiful, right? Now, again, of course, as well, too, like, this is a bit of an, an example as well, too. It's like I said, as well, too, like, like, the def the fact of the desire you know to have to have things if you don't have the good things you you always have that desire you know that you can never get rid of it doesn't matter what you do you always have a desire for something and uh, and that you know is what gonna keep you know pulling you towards something and at least you know you gotta let's say channel that desire for some for the good that you need. It's not something. It's not just what you what you want, but most importantly, the stuff that you need. What does it mean as well, too? You know, like uh, for one, let's say, finish whatever scholarship that you that you're going through, right? 
And if you're past that at all too, like you should just like say like go to college or university or like get a job or anything. And from that job, you should work as hard as you can so you can at least earn a living. And from there you build your life. Now it shouldn't be too much rocket science at all too, but uh, no. I'm not going to go into detail, but just to remind you that life has uh, its own unique things as well too. Now, of course, with all two, I mean, you should always, you know, look through like a more of a philosophical lens about this why women reject me as well too. It's like, not just on your own personal, you know, personal point of view, but what I'm saying is actually that, like, think about it for a bit, right? Why does woman reject me? Is it because of this? Is it because of that? Or, I mean... It's or because it also the fact is that uh, they also have you know like uh, as uh, let's say fully conscious human beings that uh, the ability to, the ability to choose and whatnot because then again even you know if there might not be you know a lot of people that let's say that you might look them you think they be they do not want you I mean that they actually do want you, you know but they, but the thing is actually that. Um, not always would they be in the office that you work with, or let's say the classroom as well even, which you're always surrounded by a bunch of friends whatnot. not. Not always, you know, is it on the same environment or not. But, you know, to get to where you really want to be, you gotta work out on yourself first. If you're not the person who you want to be, you make yourself the person who you want to be. Not, of course, you're not going to be perfect because, again, as well, too, like, uh, uh, I'm, you know, trying to try my, my best, you know, to be who, I, who I, I want to be, you know. But, again, I mean, I just can't for many different ways. And, sure, as well, too, like, you would enter, let's say, the five stages of grief, which, of course, you can look that up for yourself, which is actually, you know... I mean, of course, you know, we're always in denial, of course, well, too, that we're not, we're not always, you know, the person that we want to be, but that's a good, that's a good thing, because you get to create the opportunity to see the canvas that you are and make yourself the person that you want to be, even if, you know, if, uh, it'll be, you know, like, uh, if you feel like you're overrated or not, sure, as well, too, like, there's, like, that, uh, that issue, right? The thing is, you know, like, is, uh, do not go for what you want. Go for what you need. And from there, you should be able to at least help out yourself in whatever many ways you can. And that's something that you should do, actually. And I encourage that, actually. You actually see yourself, you know, for who you are, for, for who you are right now and who you want to be. And at least try yourself, you know, to at least, you know, in a healthy manner. Because, I mean, you wouldn't want to go hurting yourself, you know, over a, over a desire to be, you know, someone else or whatnot. But, I mean, it's something that I believe in you, actually. I'm not, I mean, I'm trying myself, you know, the, the, to, to be, you know, someone that, uh, how can I say, I kind of want to, you know, to be someone, you know, like a, so someone like uh, I mean I can always you know only dream about it. Those dreams only 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 haunt me. But again, I mean it's just like it's not that I have much of an option. You know what you got, and you know what you what you got to work with. And even if it's little as well too, you take what you can as little as you can, and you expand from there, in whatever different ways you can to improvise to help yourself. Sure, of course, I will too, like, say, it might sound a bit egotistical on the bad side of it, too, like, uh, let's say, you need to care for yourself more than, than the others. Which, of course, it's true, you know. Of course, you know, we can't be overly selfish that we know we, do, we would, you know, overly ignore that the, the needs of, you know, some people that we could help over our own principal needs over them, right? Like, uh your life is not important at mine, or, or something like that. Actually, as well, too, you know, like, if we do actually, you know, have, work to help out some people, actually, you know, even, even if it is, you know, through office work, like, you know, like, uh, 
That one lazy dickwad that keeps you know, pushing their work until you're deathly on time? Or, you know, if it's gonna be in school, like, let's say, uh, you help out, you know, other people all too with the homework that, you know, you would see fit. And, again, as well, too. The thank you, that should be basically a quite a quite a lot of good work, I would say. I mean, that is, you, you do what you can. Of course, in a, again, in a healthy manner. Everything is like, uh, how can I say? I mean, a lot of things that we do is like, uh, ah, here we go. It's like alcohol. Hold on. Let me give it a light. Like, a lot of things that we actually do is like alcohol. We can't do it too much, because otherwise there'll be consequences. So that's why they say that alcohol is always best approached in moderation. And of course, you know, life itself can be, let's say, best, uh, best, you know, enjoyed in moderation as well, too. Because, I mean, everything's fun, of course, if it's in moderation. Even pain as well, too, is it all can be also good in moderation as well, too. As a matter of fact, uh, some, some things, some things... Oh, but the life pain can be quite, uh, quite enjoyable as well, too. It even comes, well, too, with the Greek mythology, such as... I don't know if I might be buttering wrong, but, uh... Sisyphus. Have you heard about it? It's S-I-S-Y-P-H... Wait, H... Uh, U and the S again. Sisyphus is the name of it. It was actually, you know, a very, a, an interesting, you know, uh, Greek. It's interesting. It's actually you know, from from the Greek mythology, and actually quite an interesting tale as well too. Uh, actually, of course, you know more about the, the punishment. Too, like, uh, I'm gonna say, it might actually you know like uh, be quite a bit of on the on sadism. Some people could could say about, but. Of course, you know, it's uh, the fact that Sisyphus, you know, he cheated death, which, you know, as I can, rem as I can remember from what I read. Hold on a second. Let me just, let me just pull it out, because I still got the page up here loaded. Because, yeah, here we go. So, he, so, this guy over here, Sisyphus, he was known as King Sisyphus. The founder and the first king of Ephra, originally known as, or, the original name was... The Cornith, the no, the Corinith. He promoted navigation, and of course, it was pretty deceitful. So you know, it's uh, you can see the, the kind of person that we're talking about, right? Now, he also, you know, was uh, quite a bit of a greedy person, and he also had a a brother called known as Salomoneus, who were actually you no know, quite known to hate each other as well too. And of course, Sisyphus, you know, when he called, when he contacted the Oracle of Delphi on how just to kill Salomonius without the, any uh, incurring severe consequences for himself, right? From home onward. Hmm. It was cause. Oh, yeah, here we go. He seduced Salomonius' daughter, uh, Tyro, into the plot to kill Salomonius only for. Tyro to slay the children as she bore him when she discovered that Sisyphus was planning to dethrone her father. Ah, here we go. So you can actually see you know, how, how it kind of, kind of is going. Now, of course it will too, since the King Sisyphus, you know, with that he betrayed Zeus. Of course you can see about the God of War reference. By revealing the secrets on the whereabouts of Aegina and Asopid, who was taken away by Zeus to the her father, the god river of no the river god Asopus. I think I might be butchering that wrong, but in the, either way, let's continue. In return for causing a spring to flow in the Corinthian Acropolis, yeah, so as they call it, what's well, you? Now, Zeus, of course, uh, ordered Thanatos, uh, death, you know, to, to chain King Sisyphus below Tartarus. Sisyphus was curious as to why Hermes, well, whose job was it to guide souls to the underworld, but it was rather Thanatos, right? A uh, pretty occasion. To demonstrate how chains worked and whatnot. But 
the thing is well too like I'm not gonna say direct because that's a bit quite an interesting tale as well too like which you would actually know to see for yourself now the thing is over here we got the punishment in the underworld as punishment for its trickery King Sisyphus was made King Sisyphus was made to roll a boulder up a steep hill the maddening the maddening nature of the of the punishment reserved for King Sisyphus due to his hub uh, Hubristic believed uh, that his cleverness surpassed Zeus himself. Uh, Zeus accordingly displayed his own cleverness by enchanting the boulder to roll away from King Sisyphus before he reached the top, which ended up uh, signing Sisyphus into an eternity of useless efforts and unending frustration. Thus, it came to the point of indeterminable wait, interminable. Activities are something described to us. Sisyphian King Sisyphus was a common subject about ancient writers and was just depicted by the painter uh, Polygnotus on walls of the Lesh and Delphi. But the thing is, as well, too, you know, like uh, as I was told, that Sisyphus, as well, too, as he rolled, you know, this boulder up a steep hill that only to be rolled away. To some extent, it was actually you know, quite a bit of a, how can I say, a, a interesting, you know, punishment because, as I was told, you know, during, in the classroom a while ago, that Sisyphus, he kind of, you know, he saw the pain of his punishment to be a, to be another reason to for his existence. I would I would say that I mean, sure as well too. Like we we have our let's say. Not just only one boulder we have to roll up a steep hill and maintain over there, right? But keep in mind that a lot of uh, that a lot of these boulders are, you know, quite uh, enchanted by their own means, and with that, they actually, you know, end up, you know, being quite a bit of a booby trap. Meaning that doesn't matter how much effort we put over there, it's always gonna it's, it's always gonna fall. I mean, doesn't matter what. Maybe because it was maybe because it was enchanted. To fall like that way, but then again as well too. Like I don't just feel bad about it all too. There are all, there are actually quite other boulders you could actually push up a steep hill, and see what you can achieve from there. Of course, some boulders are bigger than the others, just as some boulders can be smaller. Just as much as the hills we push the boulders up can be, you know, even bigger or even smaller. They can be steeper as they can be smoother as well too, but still as well too. Like it doesn't mean like it would be, how how must they say, it's their own you know punishment you know. Sure you know there's going to be quite a bit of a bit quite a bit of a, you know how can I say, quite a bit of a reward to it as well too because, it I was told as well too during that time in the classroom, that. What makes, you know, that what makes, uh, you know, life, uh, let's say, more, let's say, ple pleasurable is actually the challenge that we face and we, you know, accomplish it. But the rewards, they are, of course, you know, we can, you know, let's say, enjoy, you know, the rewards as much as we can or material gains or whatever else it would be. But. Again, I mean, it's just a small rem reminder of all the effort that we've been through, and that is what makes, uh, and that is what makes the, uh, how shall I say, the the re the reward, no, or the trophy, I would say, to have a bit of value, is the amount of effort we've been to surpass, and you know, in many in many times, compete with others to to get where it is. Now, the thing is, well, too, about competition, as well, too. The thing is, I usually would, I was usually, you know, would never actually would say this kind of stuff. Because, again, the thing is about competition is the less competition we have, the, the better. But, again, that would be pretty egotistical, right? Now, here's the thing. That uh, the competition, actually, that we face in many different ways to better ourselves... How should I say? 
is actually, you know, like, the less competition, the better. And at least, you know, like, I do some... And I mean, even I admit it all to, like, some... Some of the... There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, the thing just uh, cut up for no reason. But as I was saying as well, too, there is, you know, no need. I mean, there's actually, you know, like, the competition that the less we have, the better. Because if we actually don't keep, you know, a lot of these, uh, let's say, useful tips to ourselves, then and let the other ones find out for their own means that it makes everything a whole lot better, right? Now, of course, as well, too, I mean, that actually seems, you know, quite a bit of a... Something interesting, but the thing is as well too, like it's of course uh, a lot of these uh, this information is quite a bit of a something more personal as well too. Like we can't actually go around sharing it because of course let's say for the people who let's say at least wouldn't need to know, you know, so they actually could easily surpass you in many ways. How can I say? Can actually be quite nasty, but the thing is as well too, like another need that would make it, in, let's say more important that I would say actually say give out information is because if not only let's say you help yourself I mean get to the point where you you're at but if you see let's say a friend or anyone or a relative or whatever struggling as well too you could use you know said information to actually help them but the thing is well too let's say I have myself I have had you know quite a lot of uh, let's say bad people as well too you know which were pretty ungrateful as well too for the help that i've given in many different times of course but the question is that you should ask yourself is does that person actually deserve that, that help right but of course it will too like the, the the more person help is the better because the more friends you make the better there's no there's no, there's no big surprise about that at all i'll be honest anyways back to the list Ah, here we go, that means Sisyphus. But yeah, like I was saying as well too, like the different ways about coping with life, about the pushing up boulders, up against the steep hills and everything. But, yeah. I mean, what, but yeah, I mean, since I'm next, basically, you know, like right near, right near the end of the list, it said that, I mean, in many different ways as well too, like say just to numb out the, the useless desires and focus on, on the, the needs, you know, for self-improvements, because, like I said again, you're breathing, that's still got a chance, and you should take it, but, if, but of course, if, but of course you should know exactly is how you can do it, and, I mean, what would be the appropriate way of doing it as well too, right, because, of course, we just can't go up doing about it in any different, in different ways, and, of course, actually, we would actually end up, end, end up, let's say, hurting ourselves more than helping ourselves, right? But then again, uh, just gotta be careful not to make anything just too permanently, permanently dangerous, I would say. But regardless as well, too, that, uh, that that's, uh, then that's pretty much it that I, ha that I had for the list here as well, too. Now, I mean, as I was saying as well, too, you know, by my current outfit right now, I mean, of course, it's in her clothes and everything. But, I mean, of course, it will, too, is like, uh, of course, I'm giving out a bit of a, a bit of a shout out to, an, to, an, to a YouTuber as well, too, which, of course, it will, too, like, he uh, kind of inspired me as well, too. And, of course, it, uh, I kind of found out new ways to, to see about this because, uh, I'll be honest as well, too, that, uh, I mean, I too, you know, used to be, a, used to be, let's say, way down here, at the bottom of the pit, and of course, you know, the the what kind of pit that I'm talking about, the pit of life, the pit, you know, that we actually you know try our hardest, you know, not to be into, but the things that we do unintentionally are actually you not know, just pulling us deeper into the pit, and we don't know that because denial. I mean, we are in denial and we just keep on acting to what the things we desire the most. And with that, we actually end up hurting ourselves, like I said. But through pain is, um, but through pain comes failure. And with failure, we got to get the experience. And of course, you can basically see from, from where it all ends, it, where it all, it all subs up. Now, of course, it all too, like I'm just saying that like a, a bit of my own thoughts as, thoughts as well too, but thing is as well too like you yourself you can come up with your own thoughts and everything 
As a matter of fact, not only you can come up with your own thoughts, but you can also redeem yourself. And that's the important part as well, too. And, uh, yeah, because, you know, I'll admit as well, too, let's say that funny that easy things, of course, it it just never was and whatnot. And well, also one interesting thing, you know, to point out as well, too, is that uh, in many different ways about coping with life, you would actually know, fun as well, too, to, let's say it's at least, um, how can I say, fetishes, you know, to be quite a bit of a, let's say, quite a bit of a, uh, how can I say, I mean, what, I mean, just trying to get myself the inappropriate term, terminology, it would be something, let's say, that's going to be most likely, you know, essential let's say in our lives i mean me as you can tell me as you can you know as you can see as well too like uh i got this helmet as well here too which you know not only you know it's just for looks it will too like a bit of a ah sorry my neck just snapped just a bit of my own let's say uh fetish i mean sure you know it's look cool and everything but i kind of want to see i want to make up my kind of bit of my own costume and then you know like the the helmet is just a part of it I mean, I don't know. I'm just doing out, doing, doing things out, and, and you know, hoping to think to see what really hopes best. Because again, a little too, let's say, to cope with life and everything. At least uh, the way how I deal with it is, is that at least I got some fetishes, you know. Even though it, as as weird as it may seem, but it is actually no pretty efficient as well too. Because even you know, I admit as well too. Let's say I'm deep in melancholical depression, but I mean, I at least you know if you have something you know that I can I can please myself with, of course as well not not you know like a, as done that way but in many different ways actually because this year of course and this year it's actually very comfortable believe it or not and of course in not of course it might look you know it's like it's very uncomfortable but it actually is comfortable and knowing let's say in many different ways. And of course, actually, it is pretty fun as well, too, you know? Even as well to come with some different costumes for whatever the hell. Even as well, too, to bring out your own inner demons and whatnot. Now, as well, too, you know, I kind of want I kind of left out the controversial part now for for the last as well, too. Now, what's with this Swiss uh, World War II helmet, right? Even though Swiss were with the Germans. Yes, they were with the Germans. But no, actually, I mean, it's actually, you know, like, uh, that the fact that, uh, for one, like I said, about the costume as well, too. Like, I, I tried, you know, to looking for, like, different things, you know, to what would really work the best about it. Uh, sure, as well, too, in the army, on the, uh, army surplus store, I mean, they, they had, you know, some German helmets, as American helmets. They were, like, all kinds of helmets, as well, too, from everywhere. From World War One, World War Two, you name it, and also in a very pristine condition, like this one over here, it's authentic, believe it or not. And uh, and the thing is, well, too, like I mean, I kind of, I kind of tried this one as well too, the the Swiss A8, M18 hel helmet. Yeah, I think it is, based on the Stahlhelm German helmet. I think it is. I mean, the Stahlhelm helmet, it kind of looks cool, but I put on it, it didn't fit on me because I mean, I think it's like a, I think it might be got. Have a bit of a big head, so I tried on the Swiss helmet, and it's not necessarily in the same what exactly I'm looking for. But hey, it fits and it looks pretty cool as well too. Wouldn't you agree? Now, originally I had you know intent to go with a gas mask on, so at least I could give like a bit of a vibe as well too to it. Of course, you know, I'll, at some point I plan you know to do videos with me acting about it, going about it, say with a. Uh, Let's say imagining some scenarios about let's say com conflicts and whatnot. Now, that's actually you no. Know, it, it is you know pretty interesting in many different ways. And of course, I mean, it may something seem something you know pretty pretty ridiculous. But again, I mean, it's something like uh, what makes you happy, and as long as you do it in in a healthy manner, right? Oh, and also not to mention as well too, like uh, that. No, I'm not a Nazi. Even though, like I said, I might be a nationalist, but, either twist, I'm a nationalist, capitalist. I'm not a nationalist, socialist. That's, that's what the Nazism is. The Nazism is 
nationalist, socialism. Me, nationalist, capitalist. Get the difference? One is nationalist, socialist. The other is a nationalist, capitalist. You get the difference now? Wait. Nationalist, socialist, nationalist, capitalist. There we go. Yeah, there we go. But as what of course as well too, you can see about let's say uh you I mean you can see about basically my own my own things is because I mean the reason why it shows you know to be more of a nationalist capitalist, but that's of course a topic for another video, but I'll give you a bit of a, a bit of a tent at least for now. It's because you know, like I said about politically uh see just see a lot of you know a lot of let's say a lot of people you know doing so bad and whatnot. They say beautiful words, but my God, they suck ass at, do, at what they're doing. Now, of course, I'm not gonna say a few names, but of course, uh, name who you want to believe that. I mean, that sure. I mean, but like, but again, like they say, they may say such beautiful words, but when they power, they suck balls. My God, I've never seen someone so horrible. I mean. That you know, a lot of the countries I know they're capitalist, but to, to change capitalism to socialism, whatever the hell is, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> now, of course, I'm just, uh, I'm just, of course, I just uh, mess, I'm just, of course, just giving a bit of a drama here as well, too. But seriously, as well, too, I mean, you can just see how disgusting, you know, some things would be, you know, because again, as well, too, like, it's just, it's just like, it's mind boggling as well, too. I mean, it's been proven, you know, in history, like, a lot of different times. And this moron is out there just doing bad, because he knows it's bad, because he or she knows it's bad, and yet they still do it. Why? I mean, they're, they're just, you know, like the parasite, the gold digger. They only care for themselves, not for the people which they claim to protect and whatnot. I mean... It just hurts, you know? It just hurts. And at least I found out to the, the fact about the the nationalist capitalists to be at least a bit more of a fitting term as well, too. But of course, as well, too, unless since uh, there's a nationalist to it that, uh, that's, uh, you know, what I, that's like the, how can I say, the, the cum, the, I mean, the, the cream filling of, of the, of it that, uh, that how can I say, at least, you know, I can, I can make fun of it, and you know, me being German, I mean, I mean, me being, let's say, with a with a German heritage, I mean, I can have, I can have fun with it. I mean, don't come, don't push him your, your political correctness bullshit on me. I can have fun with it. Of course, well, not a, I mean, not of course in a, let's say in a, in a, let's say a very na in, in a very diff nasty way. But again, I mean, we all want to have fun. I mean. I believe, you know, like, a lot of, a lot of people, you know, they can have fun with, with what they have, you know. Even if, you know, they have a, a heritage to France, or to Belgium, or to Russia, or China, whatever. I mean, they can have fun with it. And most importantly, they should have fun with it. Because of, because of all too, you know, that's at least something, you know, they can have fun with it as well, too. But of course, I mean, I'm just talking for myself as well, too. But of course, as well, too, like, I have some other heritage in the past, all too. Italian, German, uh, French, Dutch, I think. I don't know. Not really too sure on that. I have to you know to seek about, uh, what was again, they, they call Ancestry.com. And it comes, and, and uh, of course, uh, now, of course, uh, now, of course, all well, the video's over, but I'm just verbally shit posting. But, 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 but then again, though, know, go back to you know, the Ancestry.com and see about like this. Hmm. Would well, you look at that? It appears I'm 50% black. Well, guess what? Looks like I'll just have to go ahead and act myself as a get as as ghetto as I can and just be myself complete retard and to internet just for, for just for fucking what, huh? Just for fucking what? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of it's kind of you know quite interesting as well too. I mean, like sure, I mean, uh, it's there's always idiots, you know, gonna be no matter what. It's, it's baffling, isn't it? It's just baffling as well, too. And especially as well, too, you know, that a lot of people can actually use this, this, this bullshit to actually get success off it. 
How? How does that work as well too? Because, of course, as well too. Let's say uh, we are we are human beings. We come, let's say, from from many different places, in in so many different periods and whatnot. And and of course, it's it's bound to be something. But but then again, seriously, just go over here. You Knows let's dot com and uh, uh oh, we look at here over here. Like I'm I'm fifty percent. I would say, oh, look at this, I'm 25% Asian. Well, guess I'm going to become a fucking weeaboo then, huh? How about that? <sighs> it's my body as well too, isn't it? <laughs> but hey, I mean, I mean, I'm not one to actually, you know, to tell how people to, how to live their lives or whatnot. But, hey, I mean... Sometimes, you know, the pain of life is what makes, you know, life to be quite, quite something, isn't it? Sure, of course, well, too, it, I mean, it kind of, it kind of provides, you know, like a blob, you know, in, in life, you know, but you look at that blob as well, too, like, say, like, uh, like, someone saying, like, uh, saying about this, uh, so, let's say, something like about, he gets to Ancestry.com over here, it's like, like, hmm, look at this over here, it appears that I am, let's say, like, uh, uh, 10% Asian. I'm gonna, I mean, 10% Japanese. I'm just gonna go on Rosetta Stone and learn Japanese through anime and and be complete dickwad, huh? <laughs> now, that's quite a bit of, now, that's of course quite a bit of a sad reality as well, too. Is that uh, a lot of people, you know, they kind of do that as well, too. Sure, as well, too. They get, but again, when that happens, they're like two things. You know, actually, you know, just two options about it. Or, though, at least the one that I kind of know of so far. Actually, three. Actually, three. For one as well, too, let's say you can get offended all about it and get all angry and all triggered. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type myself a, 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 a Tumblr blog. And, and what's, and what's, and what's what that going to achieve? Uh, let me tell you what it's going to achieve. Fucking nothing. Fucking nothing. But then again, there's also the fact as well, too. Like, uh, if you... Uh, if you see that, and if, if you actually find it to be quite funny, then hey, I mean, God, God made clowns, so he, so we all have something to, to laugh at, right? But in the end, I mean, that's but basically what they all are. I mean, because sometimes some people, you know, they can be quite buffoons, and of course, you know, that's quite a bit of a good thing as well too. Yeah, to to, to uh, take things, you know, for with a bit with a a bit of salt. And with that, we end up, uh, you know, having some, having reading some just smile of all right. Let's smile about the, bu let's smile, laugh at the buffoons. Or, I mean, or, or it doesn't matter, I mean, because like there might be so many different ways. I mean, some people can seek enjoyment out of life in many different ways. But like I said, I'm not one you know, to, to to see how people are to live their lives or whatnot. You you know you, you do you. I know me, I do myself. And that's just how it goes as well too. Cause again as well too is how can you actually care for others if you don't care for yourself, right? Cause again as well too, like if you like an anime, I mean sure you can enjoy enjoy that shit as well too, uh, if it makes you happy, but also in uh like you said as well too in moderation. Wait, hold on. But like I said, a lot too here, in moderation. Otherwise, otherwise it's not gonna end well. And of course, you know it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty oblivious that it wouldn't, that it wouldn't end well. And you should know as well too exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, just uh, enjoy life in, let's say, in moderation in many different ways, and just you know, just reflect on yourself as well too, like. Uh, you know, don't be in denial on a lot of things. Like, uh, like sure, you know, you could you could look at you could, like let's say you could look yourself in the mirror over here and just say like, oh, I'm a piece of shit. I should I shouldn't fucking do this or do that, right? Well, guess what? Some people can actually see about that, but to be honest, you can actually see that as a bit of a how can I say a bit of an advantage as well too. I mean, shit. I mean, even I admit as well to look at my piece of shit. <laughs> you know, some people say like I'm not a piece of shit. Well, 
I think they need some glasses. I think they, they might need some glasses as well, too. Because, again, we're all a piece of shit to, like, a different degree. And, uh, there's no, re there's not really much surprise to it as well, too. And with that as well, too, I mean... I should just, you know, just, uh, see, you know, what, what different ways as well, too, because... Because as well, too, that's kind of, you know, leads me to another, let's say, important topic I should talk about. Now, the thing is, I mean, if I'll be, if I'll be dressed up like, like this over here... That's, uh, that's something I'll have to think about it. But then again as well, too, that, uh, I just at least hope at least to, uh, to at least, uh, how can I say, give out, like, a bit of a, a bit of a highlight as well, too, let's say, into this, uh, this incel issue over here, or the, uh, the antisocial people or whatnot, because, again, people as well, too, and then they, they have their needs or whatnot, but... Again, another another thing let's say that I find important to say as well too, like even if you do have guns and everything, that's actually a good thing because for one, let's say, you, or I mean, just bow and arrow or anything, anything can do actually quite quite well because actually that 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 shit can be actually quite ter ther what would be a good a good term like ter therapeutical in a way because what I mean is actually if you, if you had if you had down range and. Uh, like what you let's say like uh let's say in a gun club and let's say you have the picture of a zombie just to shoot down everything shit i mean uh you're destroying something with your power as well too and even if that kick on the shoulder as well too that can actually be uh, be uh, quite a bit of a massage as well too if you think about it but the thing is as well too let's say just never use it against another another person i mean that is of course if it's a criminal and everything then the things you know they get a little bit you know dodgy and everything but as i was saying as well too don't use it under the under the personal of let's say uh of an emotional outrage i mean because like uh because let's say suppose if you do let's say uh act out on on a on a let's say on a on a gun on a shooting spree what will you be achieving with that right here's the thing you won't be achieving anything not even kills don't even think because again let's say you would just be ruining your life because even if you kill other people, you would be ruining their lives as well too, and they have nothing to do with well too. So there's a bit of a twist to that as well too, and and not only about that, but I mean you're gonna have to basically like take a bit of a, take the worst of it as well too because not only about that, but you have some pretty uh, you have some pretty pissed off people running after you with some pretty big for some pretty nasty toys in that case. But again, if you want to believe, you know, the life after death, which, of course, uh, yeah, let's say, suppose that there is a life after, after death, that, uh, let's just say you would have to deal with the angry lynch mob that would be your victims in, uh, in exactly the other, the afterlife, because, of course, you wouldn't, because... From this life to the other life, you wouldn't have, you know, the material goods that you have in this world. As to the other world as well, too, I mean, they would still have their, have their, they have, they would, for one, they would have the numbers, right? Wait, they would have, they would have, yeah, the numbers, I mean, for one, they have numbers. And, of course, they will, too, they will, they will be able to out, outnumber you and outpower you pretty good and easy. And, man, let's say you just, you might be stuck with, with, uh, with those people for quite, let's say, a bit of a good while throughout eternity. So, so like I said as well too, I mean, go to a gun club as well too. Or just play games and everything, I mean. Even if you, let's say, have a, have a person in the office and you believe the video games are, are bad or not. I recommend, let's say, just to change your, your let's say, your, let's say your, uh, Stand some video games because believe it or not, they actually they can actually help out quite a lot. Actually, I mean, sure as well too. Like uh, they give it like a bit of a another experience and whatnot. I mean, even YouTube and as well as well as well too. I mean, there's there's a lot of different ways you can you can actually uh, just go about doing it doing it as well too. And I believe in you. I mean that you can do it actually. You should go ahead and have fun with it. I mean, even if uh, let's say. You mess up on a lot of things, but the most important thing is that 
you have fun and you have something to smile about, right? But you know, even if it, let's say if some if some things you know are, are not you know working out, then I mean, shit, there's like a whole, a whole lot of different things you should try. Like let's say bicycle, or you if you if you really want to just become a hardcore athlete. Though so, I mean that's pretty hard, but still possible. But again, like I said, be like quite a quite a quite a boulder to roll uphill. I mean, I'm not saying that like it's impossible. I'm saying that you can do it. I mean, as well, as well, you should you should uh try as well too. Join the army, join the police force, whatever. Fucking do what you do what you want best as well too. And also see what you want best as well too. But first, before you take any run, any any let's say drastic maneuver. One thing you know that I that I found out that that is always helpful. You should always plan out what you do. And trust me, it really works out well. Because even though if you're just doing nothing, just like uh, just going about the first thought and everything, like uh, unfortunately, that's uh, how should I say? That's ouch. That's actually quite prone to end bad. And of course, that's not that's not the goal, isn't it? The goal is actually to become the best as you can, and even better as well too. Which of course you can do. You can do it. And don't look me with those, with those beliefs, because I know you can't do it. And you fucking can't do it. I know you can, motherfucker. Ah, of course, I will too, let's say, you got a bit of like a... A bit of a tough love, I know, I know. But hey, let that, of course, you know, just, uh... Let that, of course, let's say, just be, be motivational as well, too. Because, again, you can do it. And you will do it. You you, you can do it, actually. It's not it's not like a, it's not going to have much of a choice as well, too. It's like, sure as well too, like, you fear, sure, like, let's say, if the case that we're talking about is the incel, is that you feel like if you don't have, let's say, a partner, let's say, to have to have a life and, let's say, have kids and everything, then everything's going to be, a everything's going to be into shit, right? Well, here's the thing as well too, that uh, if you actually, you know, just go on to, let's say, against it, uh, this, you know, other women and they, and they keep rejecting you no matter what and of course well, there's gonna come up let's say the that moment you we which which you would end up snapping and then of course you know doing something which you, of course you would regret that's understandable now the thing is as well too let's say is that stop it actually you don't you don't need her actually you got yourself to deal about because you as a as a human being there's like so many things you can do, so many things that are waiting to be done by you, and you're not gonna just throw it all away into a bit of a bitch, aren't you? You're not. You're not gonna do that, aren't you? Because the funny thing is, well, too. Even though I say I kind of you know hate to talk about this, but I had an uncle as well too. I mean, oh, trust me, he was a he was actually pretty smart and everything. And any problem as well too, any let's say uh, homework, let's say I had in high school, which of course had a lot of chemistry and physics and all that and all that stuff that we, that we always that we're always say wondering why do we are we actually being taught all this if we're never going to use it in the in our professional life, right? I mean, sometimes we might do, we might not do, we never know. But the thing is, actually, we actually done this in seconds, and hey, I mean, I'm actually pretty thankful for it. However, there is, you know, a bit of a problem as well, too, that, uh, like, you know, the incel issue, like, uh, that, but that was way before, you know, that was a bit of a pro it was a thing, is that, you know, like, um, he let a bitch, you know, ruin his life, and with that, I mean, he, uh, he kind of, you know, like, uh, lost motivation for a lot of things, and, of course, he kind of became sick of it, you know, not, not sick of it, you know, let's say sick, but let's say, sick with a bacterial infection. But let's say most of the problem is like they have a, have a super bacterial infection. Now the problem is, well too, let's say, no matter how much research the doctors they put into the bacteria for it, it's, uh, how can I say, to cure the infection everything, it just was a little bit impossible and eventually he died off. Which, of course, is, exac is exactly, uh, Something quite painful to talk about. 
And that, of course, I mean, there's something quite dark about it as well, too. Is that if you, you know, if you even dare, even even unconsciously, while you're awake, it doesn't matter, you waste your life on a bitch. The other person who could die, I mean, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't even need to be a bacterial infection or whatnot. That person can be you. Exactly. All that good stuff, like I said about that's just that you can't do, and that and that's just waiting about you, can all just vanish away in seconds, if you just keep on doing yourself. And I mean, that's not a joking matter. I mean, sure as well too. Like I shit post a lot you know, about depression a lot, but that's one one thing I I do, I do you know to keep moving. But that's the thing is actually, if you don't get a move on, you know, to become a better person or not, and just keep on punishing. There, there are, say, uh, there is like a lot of different ways things can get so bad you would actually end up regretting as well too. I mean, I mean sure as well too. Let's say that you're, that you're, let's say, young. Let's say to some extent as well too, and uh, and uh, let's say, let's say, young as in let's say that you're not, an, not, not a dried up old raisin as well too of an old man that's uh, incapable in let's say, incapable of getting an, er an erection. <laughs> that's, a, that's a, of course, I'm talking about a, the funny thing, but as I was saying as well, too, like, that, you know, person who could actually end up, you know, being wrong, can I actually, you know, be, you know, quite, end up quite bad in so many ways? That can be you. Now, the thing is, actually, you can make a lot of jokes about it. That's no problem about it. You, you're free to make jokes of whatever you want. Of course, it will tell that uh, if it's if it keeps uh, you know if it stays away from you know the eye if if it keeps away you know from the uh, you know so the reach of some um, let's say some of the eyes and ears that it shouldn't you know be landed upon then everything should be a okay, right? Of course it should be. Of course it should be. But that's but that's a, that's a thing as well too. Hold on a sec, as well too. And that there is, you know, quite a bit of a example I can give as well too for a bit of a bit of my own as as a as a male gold digger as well too. So yeah, another and so yeah, another story time as well too. So of course, you know, when I was you know still a bit of a of a child, you know, a bit of a little baby, <laughs> some and I could remember some a good while ago. My aunt, of course, that I used to have, you know, was quite very dear of me as well, too. Of course, I love her pretty much. But the thing is, as well, too, let's say that she, that I didn't have any cousin from her, is that uh, she landed her life with the wrong kind of person. And, of course, as you, would, as you would imagine, as well, too, that, of course, was pretty costly as well, too, because... Uh, the thing is, as well, too, that she, she uh, you know, used to work pretty hard as well, too. Hell, I mean, she... Uh, Used to be quite a, a flight attendant, and I mean, she was a very good one at best. Then she moved out to office work or whatnot. But the thing is, well, too, let's say it's not her as well too. But you know, she was pretty well dedicated, well too. She's a very good person, well too. I, 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 I can remember. But she's dead, of course, due to stomach cancer. Of course, well too, it was not uh, anyone's fault. Not even you know the restaurant that they. That they knew they were serving some pretty nasty food, or, or I don't know. Actually, it could have been it could have been you know many different things that you know could have could have went bad. In many in many different ways. I mean, there's no there's no way to pinpoint you know, what really went bad. But the the guy that she ended up with was such a spineless bastard that I that I swear when I overhear you know when my when my mother you know talking about with her. You know, they heard the relati with her other relatives, all too. I can hear as well, too, you know, the, the kind of gutless bastard. And that exact name, as well, too, that I heard ever since as, as, a, as a very young age, all too. That guy, you know, of course, which I used to believe, you know, as, a, as an uncle back, at, back at then. He was no uncle at all. He was a fucking gold digger. Because, as well, too, because... My aunt, of course, she used to work in some very good places. But that motherfucker, I swear to Christ, he was only leeching off her money. 
He, he was indeed leashing off her money. But of course, a lot of good stuff, you know, to be made or whatnot. Because the thing is, well, too, like, I mean, that, uh, there were some pretty red flags, of course. I mean, there were, there were, they need some pretty red, some, some pretty much some red flags, of course. Now, the thing is, as well, too, let's say, the guy, you know, he kind of had his time behind bars, but, uh, you know, since I, at times, you know, I can kind of overhear his name, uh, at some time ago, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty infuriating for one, I admit. And as well, too, like, the things that keep on going as well, too, like, uh, I mean, bribery and a lot of different things I can overhear. And it just, you know, gives quite a lot of disgust, you know, quite a lot of disgust in my heart. And I mean, it's just, uh, you should be pretty oblivious, you know, that, uh, he wasn't a good person at all. He wasn't. And again, and to be honest, and I can actually see why, it, uh, why is now, uh, why as well too, I mean, hell, I mean, even when my aunt, you know, she was, let's say, just basically dying off over there, that bastard, of course, he wasn't even there. And of course, you can, you can kind of see, you know, how, how... The nature of these gold diggers as well as uh, are as well too, and again, I mean, if you're if you're actually looking for a partner as well too, you should know fully well who you're t you're you're let's say uh, you're being attracted to because there's some pretty let's say nasty people which can let's can like uh, bleed the life out of you, not financially of course, not only financially of course, but in so many different ways I I'd say. But of course, well, too. Let's say that's all I had. I had to say for the time being on, the, on this incel issue. Of course, well, too. First, I initially said about the the main list that I that I had over here. Of course, well, uh, of course, uh, giving pay my uh, how 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 I say pay my tributes to let's say this one other YouTuber. Of course, I'll link him to it. But uh, uh, there's not there's uh, not much I can say about it. And then, of course, as well, too, like, I would say as well, too, like, some bit of a joking around and whatnot, because, hey, I mean, so that's what that's what some people really want to, right? Not only, as, of course, as well, too, some lot of seriousness, but a bit of, you know, some some uh, sweet uh, sweet sugar crush of a few jokes and whatnot, making fun of, of, of some the type of people that exist out there. And, of course, as well, too, you know, just, uh, finding quite important as well, too, just, uh, pinpoint out like a lot of a lot of you know important facts as well too which of course it's actually quite important that you would uh, avoid because to admit I mean you may love your anime or, or video games or whatever else it may be that you enjoy but the thing is is that uh, if uh, you don't if you don't become a better person in many different ways there isn't going to be much for you to enjoy and of course, when you fall down to the bottom of the pit, it's uh, it's uh, it's pretty dark, I'd say. Now, of course, it will too. That I say that I've been to the bottom of the pit myself. Sure, as well too. Like I not, I may not have you know had as as bad as some people that end up paraplegic or in many different ways. That you know, like uh, life had the. Uh, Unfortunate, you know, in event to bring those guys and what to take them, but then again, is uh, is the thing what I'm saying about like uh, you, you really need you need to you know to become a better person. So at least have something something to be proud of yourself. I'd say. Even if even if you know it's just to make your own heritage or whatnot, because let's be honest, I mean you 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 need to do something with your life and. Of course, you you want deep inside to do something, but but what, right? But what can you do? Sorry, just my neck is hurts a bit, and I've been walking all I've been walking my ass all over. But like I was saying as well too, like there's a lot of different things what you can do about it, and trust me, you can do it, because I believe you. But again, plan what you're doing. Because if you do if you do things without planning, it's uh, can be quite can be quite uh, 
damaging as well too. And of course I repeat this, you know, quite often, but it's just so you could have a bit of idea how bad things can get if you really don't care to take care of yourself. Which of course I do believe you can, and again, like I said, r countless times, I believe you can do it, and you can do it. You can do it. You just you just gotta do it. I mean, sure, of course, it's, just, it's not just go ahead and just get up and start doing, just doing, just just doing things out randomly, right? And of course, I mean, if only life were that simple. But then again, it's not rocket science, again, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. You, I mean, you know what you're up against, and I know what I'm up against. And at least you should know exactly well what to do. And trust me, you can do it. Because I believe you. And of course, uh, before I actually keep on rambling even more, I should probably just get, just get off for the time being, because, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this one as much as I did. Let's look for the next one. So I'll see you guys next time. Until then. <sighs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Next time as well too. And I'll be, uh, I'll be playing Payday too. But this time, I'll give myself, you know, one of the the, uh, the paid experience, at least by the handling, since they always they always do the shit with gloves. So might I was just uh, put myself in their shoes for a while. So I'll see you guys next time. And until then. Oh boy.